Okay, I am re-recording this because my last video did not record the sound. So we are going to do this problem with range, variance, and standard deviation completely by hand. Uh, we are going to use the calculator just for adding, but we're not going to use any of the statistical calculations in the calculator. I'll do that one on the next video, so make sure you watch both. So the following are the temperatures observed during eight wintry days in a Midwestern city. Find the range, variance, and standard deviation. So first of all, the range is going to be the lowest, or sorry, the highest value minus the lowest value. So that's just telling you what was this temperature range that we're looking at here. So lowest. the highest value looks like is 22, and then it looks like the lowest observed temperature there was a negative two. So 22 minus negative two, we would add those together and that would give us 24. So that's going to be the highest minus lowest range right there. Okay, next thing we're doing is finding the variance and standard deviation. So we have to ask ourselves, is this a sample or is it a population? So since I'm looking at eight wintry days in a city, the entire winter wasn't eight days because it's not Florida. Um, we are looking at a sample of the days. So since we're doing a sample, we're going to use this formula for the variance. And that's going to be S squared equals the sum of X squared minus the sum of X squared over N over n minus 1. So it's a little bit different than the population formula, which is why it's very important to ask yourself that first. All right, now in order to do these, I do need to kind of make a little chart for myself. So I'm going to go ahead over here, copy down these x values. And nine. okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the sum of x And let's see what that is. So 22 plus 14 plus 8 plus negative 2, negative 1, 10, 18, and 9. That's going to give us 78. Okay, so that's our sum of x. Next thing we're going to do is we have to find the sum of our x squared values. So let's go ahead and square these. So 22 squared is 484. 14 squared is 196. 8 squared, 64. Negative 2 squared will give us a positive 4. Negative 1 squared, positive 1. 10 squared will be 100. 18 squared, 324. And 9 squared, 81. Then to put that in this part of the formula, I want the sum of my x squared values. So let's go ahead and find that sum of x squared. So 484 plus 196 plus 64 plus 4 plus 1 plus 100 plus 324 plus 81. That's going to give us 1254. Okay, and then our n, that's how many values we have. We had eight wintry days, so our n is eight. So we have everything we need to plug into the formula. So that's gonna look like this. So our sum of x squared is that 1,254. And then the sum of x was 78. And I'm gonna need to square that, but I'm gonna leave it there for now. My n is eight, and that's gonna be over eight minus one. So now we're just going to use order of operations to go through and solve this. So the first thing I'm going to do is that 78 squared. That's going to be 6,084. So I'm going to come down here. 1254 minus 6,084 over 8. And then over 8 minus 1, 7. Then I would do the 6084 divided by 8. That's going to give me 760.5.
So I'm going to have 12.54 minus 760.5. And that's going to give me 493.5. I'm going to divide that by 7. I'm going to get 70.5. So 70.5, that's going to be my variance. And then to get the standard deviation, I'm going to take the square root of that. So the standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. So the square root of 70.5 is going to be 8 point, and we'll do three decimal places here, 3, 9, 6. So our sample variance, 70.5, sample standard deviation, 8.396. I'm going to do this in the calculator on the next video, so make sure to watch that one as well.